Okay, so we're gonna look at a rear foot elevated split squat. Um, the hardest example would be with two dumbbells at your side for what we're doing today. And that would be here. I'm gonna come out here, uh, get my foot on the bench, send my hip down, try to make contact with the floor, and then come up. So down, and then up. So ideally your knee is gently gonna touch the floor. If that's a little too hard, you can lower the bench or get just a slightly lower surface and do the same thing. So here, down, and then up. A um, couple things to keep in consideration is you wanna have your foot the same distance from the, the bench for both legs every single set. Now, if that's too hard, you can go unweighted, so no dumbbells. You can also use assistance with a PVC pipe or some kind of stick or a beam from a, a squat rack. And if, if a regression from, from a weighted would be, I would hold the stick, I'm gonna do my peripheral elevated split squat, and then I'm gonna lightly use this. I'm not gonna use it going down, but I'm gonna help pull, push down into the stick as I come back up. So as I go down, I'm not using the stick, and then I come back up, and I might use the stick a little bit. So that's one possibility that you can use. Another thing you can try is I can, I can use it a little bit going down and a little bit coming up. You just want to feel the tension in your leg so that your leg is getting the, the work it needs to get stronger so that you can do this with no assistance. Um, so that would be another option. And then the uh, uh, last option would just be making the surface lower. So if you had like a 45 pound plate, it was a lot lower, put your foot back there and then you went down and up, that would make it also a lot easier.